Hi everybody, I'm back with another vlog. Uh, before I start, I just wanted to thank all of you who took the time to uh, comment on my last few videos. Uh, they were uh, all really positive comments and I'm really grateful for it. Um, it just really motivates me to keep going. And um, yeah, so thanks a lot. I do really appreciate it. I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that. But anyway, on to my vlog. Um, it's on DJ Kiyoki. I wanted to take a look at what information was available on him. His birth date was October 23rd, 1966. He was born in El Salvador, um, who was raised in Hawaii. He also went to school there. And then he got his start in DJing when he started being a busboy at the Danceteria bar while he was simultaneously working for several now defunct airlines. Um, this is obviously also around the time where he met Michael Alleg. They obviously ended up in a relationship and the two also became business partners. In 2011, he was interviewed by James St. James for the Daily Freak Show. Um, he told James St. James that um, he had to quit doing drugs um, in the past due to having a heart attack. Um, James said that it was... Um, it's obviously from 25 years of hard living. As to whether the heart attack had forced him to face his mortality, Kiyoki said that in fact it had happened years ago. Um, quote, it was during the Club Kid era when all the drama went down. I realized that life is short and nothing lasts forever. Kiyoki went on to reveal that he had left New York because of the way that he was treated after Alex's arrest. Uh, people thought I had something to do with it. Um, James St. James echoed that sentiment. He said he also left New York. Um, they had both said that they could no longer even get into clubs in New York after the arrest. Um, anyway, he also offered an apology to Larry T for an incident at his club years ago, which culminated in Kiyoki attempting to ambush T in the alley outside of a club. Um, so apparently they are no longer on speaking terms. Kiyoki has enjoyed success though over the years, more so than a lot of other club kids. Um, he's had more than 17 studio albums. Um, he revealed that he was planning to move back to New York and he was preparing to release his 18th album when he had a sit down with Michael Alleg and Ernie Glam on their YouTube channel, The Pew. Um, then on January 6, 2017, you guys have probably mostly heard of this, Kiyoki was arrested after former NBC producer Thomas Felty died of a suspected drug overdose in an apartment that he was staying in. Um, he was not arrested having anything to do with the murder. The charges were suspicion of holding drugs and possession of a controlled substance with intent to sell. He also had a warrant, the details of which were unavailable. Um, this was reported by the LAWeekly.com. On June 8th, he released a statement on Facebook to his followers. Um, he was addressing the situation. Here's some of what he wrote. I'd like to apologize for being an ass these past few months, and I want everyone to know that the recent tragic events in my life have had a dramatic effect on me, and I'm finally ready to stop. Drugs had opened a gateway to hell for me. I accept this and blame no one but myself. Thankfully, after an investigation, all charges leveled against me have been dismissed. So that's pretty much it. It looks like he is out of hot water, uh, so I guess he's okay. Um, that's really the majority of the information that I found. Um, so I hope you guys like this. Um, if you want to subscribe, you can click the kitty up at the top corner. And enjoy the rest of your day, guys. I will see you next time.